Hey there fellow Quest users. Now most of you haven't even gotten the V67 update and the V69 update, yes 69, is on the horizon. Now it might be bringing some amazing features and a lot of people are excited. But the real question is, is the V69 update worth the hype? So let's dive in and I'm going to break it down for you and show you the amazing features and updates coming to the Quest. So let's dive right in with the first one being seamless multitasking. So let's say you're trying to beat a difficult level or puzzle, you can pull up a tutorial while you're playing off to the side. Or if you're like me, you can pull up your favorite show while deep into a zombie game. Early testers are saying it's a game changer. Sure, you might experience a little lag here and there. It's kind of to be expected because you're running more than one application at a time. But hey, if things get too wonky, you could always close a window or two. You'll find this feature under the experimental tab when the full update rolls out. Second is wireless PC connectivity. Right now, you have to connect your PC through your wireless router and then to your PC. PC, which, let's be honest, can be a big pain in the butt. But some sneaky data miners have discovered little hints that you might soon be able to connect your PC directly to your Quest headset, cutting out the middleman. Imagine streaming your PC VR games without needing the meta desktop app and going through the wonky router stuff. It's like an upgrade from a tricycle to a sports car, hopefully everything works out like they're thinking. The third thing is a pass-through update. I don't know if you remember trying to look at your phone through pass-through and it looks like you're looking through a funhouse mirror. Well, Meta's been fixing that up. The V69 update brings even smoother pass-through so you won't be needing to play the guess the text game anymore with your cell phone while having the VR headset on. The next thing is the volume button tutorial. Yes, your volume buttons can be used for more than just your volume, but there's now a handy tutorial that makes sure you don't miss out. The next thing is spatial audio. You can now hopefully turn it on and off, which will be interesting to see. Just remember, in-game you'll miss out on immersive experiences like hearing footsteps and cracking and so on. Another interesting feature which might not come with this update, but is at least hinted to, Meta Reality Labs have been researching and pioneering lifelike avatars with Kodak avatars since 2015, so it's been quite a while. If Kodak avatars are indeed set for a beta release, this could be a game changer for VR, making virtual Virtual reactions more lifelike and immersive than ever before. So stay tuned for updates as we approach Connect. And there you have it, what we know about the V69 update so far, and all the wonderful additions it will be bringing to the Quest from multitasking to hopefully true wireless PC link. Who knows what meta has up their sleeve next, but it'll be interesting to see once this update actually comes out. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and learned something, and if you did, make sure you drop a like and sub, and I'll catch you in the next one.